हेलो एवरीवन एंड वंस अगेन वेलकम बैक टू योर चैनल फिक्स माय फिक्स माय इंफ्रा एंड विद इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द रिमेनिंग कमांड्स सो ऑब्वियसली लाइक वी हैव डिस्कस द कपल ऑफ कमांड्स हियर विद द रियल टाइम एग्जांपल एंड हाउ डू वी यूज इट एंड व्हाट आर द यूज केसेस व्हाई एंड वेयर डू वी नीड टू यूज दोस कमांड्स सो विद इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट नेक्स्ट कमांड सो वेरी फर्स्ट कमांड हियर इज एफजी सो what fg command is used for so fg command is used to bring any job which is, which is running in background for example let us run a command maybe cat slash etc and maybe uh, fs tab fine so yes the command is providing output but what if i want to run this particular command in background so obviously it will be running till the time it does not provide you complete output For example, I ran a command ping maybe a dot a dot a dot a, which is IP address of Google DNS. I am going to hit this command, so obviously this will be running on this terminal. But what if I want to cancel it? I will press uh, like Control and C, and it will be cancelled. But what if I want the output to be redirected to slash dev null, and I want this to be running in background? So obviously. so this command is running now if i need to check that what all commands are running in background how do i need to check that so the command here is jobs so job is the command which provides you output that how many commands are stopped how many commands are like running here so we can check using job command for example now if i need to kill this so either i can figure out the pid of this particular command or i can bring this command into foreground so foreground fg command will be used and now this command is in foreground and i can terminate this i cancel this command pressing control c fine so this is use of fg command which means foreground okay so very next command here is file okay so what what do we use uh, why do we use file command so anywhere wherever you have a file and you need to check the particular type of that file because as per the thumb rule everything is a file in linux operating system and if we type in here multiple type of files are here let me show you that so very first thing is like somewhere c is written somewhere l written somewhere d written somewhere b somewhere s maybe sometime p could be find sometime it could be possible that there is only one dash written here like uh, l dash l if i run here then this particular dash is written here which means regular file as sky character file okay so if i need to figure out a file that what type of file is that so i'll run a command file and after that i'll specify the file name maybe null so it will say character special file so what type of file is that and what it is doing everything i can figure out using file command if we have a compressed file so obviously it will be showing that the particular file is a star maybe zip file so you can check any type of file extension any file you can check and it will print out print down the information related to that particular file maybe if i check here slash dev slash uh, xvda so it will show block special file fine so what type of file are there so you can check that particular using file command so file command is very useful when you are trying to check the particular uh, the type of file you can check that using okay then find mnt very good command so find mnt command is used to check like what all file systems are there what are the, its sub system how it is mounted and why and where it is mounted everything like what is the source of this like what is file system type then what are the options like read write no a time attribute type i node then after quota everything you can check here using this particular command find mnt this is really useful in order to understand that what is the behavior of your operating system when you talk about the background process so by default we see that only slash is mounted here like slash def slash xvda1 is mounted uh, file system type is xfs options are rw it means read writable mode it is no a time then after attribute i node and no quota in the same manner slash sys is mounted on slash fs sys fs so if we run a command here df hyphen th so what are the information we are going to get here is so we are going to see temp fs it is mounted on slash sys fs c group so these are the information we can easily figure out in order to check what are the mounted file system but if you really need to know the sub system of that maybe slash def slash shm you can check here slash def slash shm then after def slash mq so all the particular sub system of this particular file system so you can easily figure out using find mnt command 
so find mnt command is very useful in order to check what are the subsystems running so obviously next command is going to be here host so i'll run a host command here after that i'll have to specify if i need to check the ip address of any any particular domain www dot maybe google dot com if i need to check the ip address of so i can mention the particular uh, like domain name and it will print down the information of all the available ip addresses related to that particular domain okay then next is host name so as we know host name command is used to check the host name of this particular server so host name dash uh, and if you want to check the ip address of this particular so host name dash i command you will use to figure out the ip address so if i run ip dash r command or if i run host name dash i so when you are doing some scripting sort of stuff so rather than running this command and after that you will have to run some or grab or maybe cut command you will have to use to figure out this particular value so instead of that you can use host name dash i command this is very useful to figure out the ip address of that server only okay next we are going to check about hw clock so there are two type of clocks available first of all as when we run the date command so we are going to see the operating system value and if you need to check the hardware time so the command is hw clock so it prints the out prints down the same information same same detail it is uh, going to print but the format is little different sometimes it can happen that the particular time which you see within operating system and when you run a particular like your application is running and the time is a little different it could be different time so you will have to sync hardware clock with your operating system clock date command perform date command is performed on the top of your operating system and hw clock prints the information of time from the hardware level okay then we have the io stat so io stat command is very useful so if you need to check the input output performance of your operating system it is very useful i'm going to like make a little smaller why it is so you will have to bear with me for a while because the output is going to be really large here so i o stat dash x m t and 1 One one. What what it is going to do here is, it will print information every second for next eleven seconds, which means I can easily see what is going to be like a nice value. What is system? What is I/O weight? What is steel? What is idle? It means CPU information is it is printing. Then after this information is related to CPU. Then it is information related to Dev X V D A. Like how many read requests per minute, write requests per minute, read request, write request. how many mbs are being read how many mb of data is being write then after average request size average uh, like uh, average average queue size uh, like uh, time awaited read time awaited write time awaited so these are the information which you can fetch using io command it means io stat so this command is very useful at the time of troubleshooting related to when you want to figure out the iops performance of the operating system this is very good command at that moment and this command is used especially for troubleshooting like when there is high load on server and you are not able to figure out that what is what is going on in background so this command can be used to identify that what sort of stuff is going on there okay then we have next command here is like io nice so io nice like it shows the priority like what is going to be priority of your your current running process it it will show you here then after jobs Uh, we have already seen the example like all the jobs which are running in background we can figure out that so for example if i try to run the ping command again and if i try to figure out what jobs are running maybe i can run a command job so it will print out that moreover if i run a command vim then after slash etc or uh, maybe fs tab whatever command i want to run obviously i'll press control uh, i control z then particular command will be stopped so if i run job command here once again so it will show that this command is in stopped state and this command is running so this is how you will figure out that what command is in what state once again if you need to run fg so obviously this will be in uh, running mode and after that you can save the file whatever you want you can perform based on the actions required so job command is used to check the like background running processes okay then after kill okay why do we use kill command and how do we use so first of all we need to figure out the pid of this particular ping command i'll run a command ps fax and after that ping so ping is the particular pid of this ping command is this i'll run a command kill then after i'll specify hyphen 9 then after i'll specify this one pid which means ping command is killed killed it is showing command is killed now so why i specified minus 9 so there are uh, multiple options if you want to check like signals so you can check kill command manual pages and over there multiple signals are there like 
obviously if you talk about hyphen s which means you can specify signal maybe maybe no hop maybe kill and whatever signal you want maybe terminate maybe resume multiple signals are there so when you talk about like uh, what are the particular options we can use so kill minus 9 kill minus 1 so these are the particular sig the signals which you can use you can uh, kill a process by pid by q and like obviously all kill minus all you can run fine pid minus n it means the like uh, where n is larger than 0 it means at least one pid has to be there fine so these are the thing which you can perform using kill command okay then okay one more thing i want to show you here if you want to check like further details fine so sig q is the particular man page which you can check in order to understand what all signals are there like kill and all okay then after next command here is last so last command is used to check about the detail of your last login time when the user logged in from where the user logged in and uh, for how long like when the user logged in and uh, still uh, like uh, currently still, uh, like what the user was doing for how long the user accessed the server and all so these are the information which you can fetch using this particular command last moreover it will show the last reboot time as well okay next command here is last b so it will show the information of ba like uh, bad logins bad logins means if someone was trying to access this server and obviously the user was not allowed to log into this server so this is how you can access you can try figuring out that how many tree like users tried to hit your server using this particular so like someone was trying to hit this particular like jenkin test like vagrant user hadoop postgres ubuntu so these are the particular username which were tried to log into my server then after ssh no tty i can check out the ip address like uh, where from the hit was coming when it was tried and everything i can try out using this particular when it, when the user was trying to access so you can check out here as the today is seventh so there is no bad action today like the server was created couple of days back maybe three to four days back i created this server and i kept it in under a stopped manner so last b command is used to check the last bad logins okay then after ldd that is very good command uh, sometime it happens then we, we need to check that what all dependent library files one service is using for example i want to check there is a service maybe let let us install httpd um, install httpd minus y we can install the package yes it is already installed so now we need to run we need to figure out that what is httpd uh, file i'll run a command which httpd so it will show me that this is a particular binary file of httpd service then after i'll run a command ldd and after that i will specify the executable binary files it will print down the information then what all libraries this particular service uses when and how it is required so when we talk about your particular service which is known as tcp wrapper so there are particular like firewall algorithm and like uh, there are multiple rules that which service are supported by uh, which service which all services are supported by tcp wrapper so you will have to check the modules so all the modules which supports that particular like uh, module which is used by your uh, uh, tcp wrapper so that will be printed down here so all the modules whichever this particular uh, like http service is using these are listed down here so ldd means like uh, list uh, this is going to list all the like dynamic dynamic modules okay let's let's go next then after lcpu lscpu so lscpu command is used to check the information of your cpu for example like what is architecture like uh, whether it is 64 bit or 32 bit then after like uh, byte order then after cpus number of cpu how many cpus are associated here like uh, online cpu list zero because uh, whenever we have multiple cpus so the very first number of cpu begins with zero then after threads per core one sockets per core one sockets one numa node it means non-unified memory access node is one vendor id like genuine intel so it means the particular processor which we are using that is of intel that is not of amd cpu family type then after model then after model name so like xeon we are using here so every every information you can fetch using this particular what is going to be like cpu megahertz like what is your what is the processing speed so these sort of information you can fetch whether the pro, like hypervisor is zen or maybe that is uh, any other one maybe nitro hypervisor we can see sometime if it is coming so these are the informations which you can fetch using this particular uh, these particular commands which i just have shown you here 
so these are the things which usually work when you are talking about like troubleshooting because if you do not understand that what commands are supposed to be used here then this thing will be a little challenging for you so i hope this has been informative thank you so very much for the time have a good time and happy learning from fix my infra if you have further any question then please do like uh, do write in comment box and please do not forget to like share and subscribe to my channel have a good time and happy learning